Take the rocket 585 seconds to send the space lab into orbit. At 12 seconds after launch, the rocket will have a program to turn and fly along Earth's axis to save fuel. At 155 seconds, four boosters will detach from the main rocket after running out of fuel. At 160 seconds, the first stage rocket will detach and the second stage motor fires up. At 210 seconds, it will carry Tiangong-2 into space. And at 582 seconds, the motor will stop working and detach three seconds later. As mission is accomplished. Now, one of the primary functions of the Tiangong-2 will be to test key technologies for China's future space station. Let's take a look at some of the Space Lab's main objectives. Unlike the Tiangong-1, China's first prototype space lab, the Tiangong-2 is designed to have astronauts stay in space for a longer time. The Shenzhou 11 spacecraft to carry two astronauts will blast off later to dock with the Tiangong-2. These two astronauts are expected to live in the space lab for up to 30 days. The second mission of the Tiangong-2 is to dock with the cargo ship next year, resupplying the space lab. The Tiangong-1 was designed for two-year service in orbit, while the Tiangong-2 is expected to operate much longer than with new propellants and other resources. Last but not least, a record number of 14 experiments will be carried out in the Tiangong-2. These experiments will cover cutting-edge technologies like space material science and space life science. And two of the experiments will be operated by astronauts aboard a space lab. All in all, the Tiangong-2 is another pioneer of China's future permanent manned space station, which is scheduled to enter into service in 2022.